Okay. So this is the way that I'm that helped me out to learn how to draw hands uh, as best as I can now, and I think I'm pretty good at drawing hands. Uh, and if I get stuck, then I use some reference. It's, it's not a big deal. But uh, the palm of your hand is not a circle. It's not an oval. The best way, in my opinion, the the best, the easiest way to 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 really start to get a grasp on the hand, no pun intended, um, is you're looking at five sides. So right here we have one, which is you know representing the, the side of the side of your hand obviously. We got two, which is kind of rep which should always be drawn or mostly for the most part anyway, be drawn at at an arc. And um, three which is going to represent the area that we're going to put the thumb in. Well, it's represent. I'm sorry. It rep represents the the webbing uh, of your of your thumb, and I like to draw that with a with some sort of curve in it. I like to do and an, it's an it's a it's a, a curve that curves in concave, I guess, and as opposed to convex. So right here, I got a straighter part right here, more or less. All of this is, has a slight little curve to it. I got one. This is where my fingers are going to go in is two. Three, I got the webbing. And four, it doesn't have to be a curve. Four and five. If you need to keep these lines absolutely straight, then you may want to break. Make sure you, that you keep the top line curved. So you can do this straight. One, two, okay, one, two, Three, if you got to keep it straight, that's fine. Four and five is where it's going to meet the wrist. As you could see, um, this could be the top or even the bottom of the hand. I'm not going to get into that right now for for uh, demonstration's sake. We're going to say that this is the bottom or this is your palm that you're looking at the the um, underneath your hand or inside your hand. Sorry. And so if we look over here, we have one and this is from the top and some of you might already be able to tell that so I got one I got the arc right here which is two I got three that uh, the concave part of the hand four I curved it out and five I also curved this because now you could tell that it's kinda going into a direction right so I'm gonna try that again one more time so let's try it from the other side and so now I'm going to do it kind of reversed. So I got one, two, three, four, and five. Now, usually your, your hand is sitting on an angle. If you even look at your hand, you could see that your, four, uh, your forearm pretty much lines up with this first finger right here. That's another thing that you might want to keep in mind. No matter what position that you're, even if you're, you're if you're drawing your hand just flat or straight out, if you look, this almost your your finger right here lines up with that, and then the other fingers are gonna come off in whatever direction you need them to. But let's get back to the drawing the the palm. Um, so we got that, and and over here, I got it the same way, and it makes no difference which way you count. Um, I don't want to make you think that you have to count a certain way as long as you understand that there are five sides to it. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay? And that is the base of your of your thumb or your hand. That's the kind of thickness that's there. Right now we're just gonna draw it this way because once we start turning it to the side, you're gonna see that once the thumb gets involved. And for right now, let's just say that from the side, it's just gonna uh, kind of look like kind of this triangly kind of shape. Not really a triangle, I guess. It's, it's a weird trapezoid kind of shape from the side. So I think that's probably a, a better way to describe it. So we got. So I think it's probably the series probably gonna take a little bit longer because I, I want to draw the hand from different aspects of it. So the second part of this is to draw the padding. So we have we know that we have two paddings, right? And the shape that I want you to to, to draw 
instead of drawing these circles because I, I think if that helps you that's great but I would say draw a, a rectangle that looks like it's being inflated so it's kind of a rectangle it's kind of an oval so because it has thickness to it and so we're gonna draw one here and it goes right into it's it's actually the the side of that if if I explain that correctly so this side of uh, let me see let me do some erasing here you'll just bear with me this side of your hand is that so one two three and four I want to stop right about here I want to leave that space up top right here for a reason so that's one the second one is going to be a tiny little bit shorter and it hits this wall right here and so that's your other inflated rectangle more or less because right up in here we're just gonna look at that like it's negative space and so right here I think I did it a little bit better but you see I still have the one two three four and so that pretty much is gonna be the palm of your hand and so when you're drawing things from the side that's the shape that you're that's what gives your hand that shape we're gonna look at that little inflated rectangle and you could throw some knuckles on top there but I'm gonna get into that and show you how this all relates hopefully and it'll make sense to you um, so yeah if you're if you're enjoying this or if you're learning something please subscribe please help me spread the word because uh, I'm gonna get into some more stuff but yeah I have another part coming up uh, shortly but right now I would say what I would like for you guys to do sorry when I do that um, what I would like for you guys to do is to uh, practice just drawing the palm. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Practice drawing, just, just draw some palms until you get used to this. Fill up a page with them, like I said. Like I always, like I said in my other videos, my quick drawing lesson videos, just fill up the page with them. And then once you're done with that, and try to draw them in different angles. Play with the angles of it. Draw them the other way. And then uh, pick out a few and then put in your your other ones on top. Because this these two, the, the padding, it moves. That's what I want you to keep in mind. If you notice, you can make these touch each other, obviously. So it doesn't have to always be... I think the best way to describe it instead of having it be an L shape like one is right here and the other is right here uh, it'd be much closer to a V shaped with this one being a little bit shorter and we having some negative space right here and I can just lay that in on top there so I hope that helps you guys uh, coming back in the next lesson uh, we will get into uh, the thumb and uh, maybe the fingers I don't know all right, I hope you enjoyed everything, and uh, check back.